Today is Juneteenth. Let's talk about some of the greatest black American pioneers from aviation and aerospace history. Number one, Bessie Coleman. Bessie was the first black American and first Native American woman to hold a pilot's license. She trained in France because U.S. flight schools were too racist, and she returned to the U.S. a sensational aerobatic pilot. Upon finding fame, she used her popularity to fight segregation by refusing to perform at segregated events. Two, Cornelius Coffey literally built his own plane and taught himself to fly it because, surprise, flight schools in the 1930s were too racist to let him in. Are we sensing a pattern here? He started the Coffee School of Aeronautics with the help of his wife, Willa Brown, to train more black pilots, notably many of the Tuskegee Airmen. 3. Willa Brown By the way, Willa Brown wasn't just Cornelius Coffey's wife, she was an accomplished pilot and aerobatic aviator. After inviting the editor of a Chicago newspaper to fly in an air show with her, the U.S. government took notice of the Coffee School of Aeronautics, contributing to a domino effect that ended with the integration of the U.S.'s armed forces. Or Frederick D. Gregory was the first African American to command a space shuttle and spent hundreds of hours in space while holding prominent positions at NASA, where he influenced training and recruitment efforts to ensure that other people of color could follow in his footsteps. Five, the Tuskegee Airmen. You've heard of them, the first black military aviators in the U.S. Army Air Corps and Air Force. The Tuskegee Airmen fought fascism in Europe and Northern Africa in World War II and were among the most successful units in the war, earning 150 flying crosses. Make sure to watch part two.